Heritage Center, which offers support services for a whole wide range of people in our community, is one of the 96 charities that have received a grant from the Rapid Relief Fund, which recently raised over $6 million. Veronica Cooper has more on how much that funding means to the nonprofit in a time where helping others has been made even harder. The Critch Center for the Family is actually the oldest uh, charitable nonprofit operating in British Columbia. We do work with immigrant and refugee families, with victims of intimate partner violence, with brain injury survivors, with uh, children of all ages, with young parents, with families with children with disabilities, and with seniors. And all of those services have been deemed essential and must continue. The first four weeks of COVID-19 were insanity in trying to figure it out and make, as I said, make sure that, that staff were safe, that our clients were safe, that we came up with new routines. We've got bees. We don't need bees. Including yep. hallway bingo for the 82 residents at the Cridge Village Senior Centre. B2. With that vision of wanting to connect, we now have to figure out creative solutions of coming to the people instead of them coming to us. Good. Circulation to all the body. Our average age is around 90 and yet very high functioning uh, folks. So a lot of them did have a ton of community-based recreation pursuits that were keeping them really happy and, and were vital services for them and they're not able to participate in that anymore. It's been tough and it's they're strict but it's for our own good. The staff have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, Allison keeps us sane with the activities that she's giving to us, bingo, sing-along, exercise classes. The Cridge received $75,000 from the Rapid Relief Fund. Much of that funding is targeting mental health to ensure clients are coping in isolation. Many are dealing with perhaps intimate partner violence or a brain injury, so they have challenges to overcome. And the isolation and the weariness of that is really challenging and hurtful and difficult to overcome. And so we want to put in place the kind of professional um, psychological supports to help people navigate that. Funds are also directed to personal protective equipment the sought-after PPEs, the kind of expenses that as a charity we never envisioned budgeting. So those kinds of things have been very helpful for us with the Rapid Relief Fund. And one of the things that makes me incredibly proud is how our staff have shown up in this crisis. And many people have their own anxieties and, and concerns about COVID-19. And yet they come. They come with creativity, they come with commitment, they are passionately caring about children and seniors. And our residents are, are so um, appreciative of that. The thing that's mind-boggling, it's all over the world. It's not just us and in our institution, it's everywhere. And knowing we're all in this together perhaps makes the challenges a little easier to bear. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.